Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be a shopper drop where I go through all the new makeup on Trend Mood and I tell you whether or not I am interested in picking them up. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on some new makeup releases, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. But I will say, okay, I'm apologizing in advance. I have two more months left of the school year until summer. And I am trying not to overbuy so that I do not overwork myself. I find that when I buy all of this new makeup, I'm like, gotta film, gotta film, gotta film, gotta film. So I'm trying to slow down on buying all the new makeup because being a teacher is stressful right now. And I just am trying to keep some mental sanity here. So I don't know if I'll actually be successful in this, but I'm good. <laughs> I'm trying to set myself up to be mentally stable and not overwork myself because guess what? In two months, I can do a YouTube full time. It is summer break and I will catch up for these two months. So just be prepared for that. I won't be answering. Um, I won't be as present probably in the comment section and all of that, but I'm gonna do my best. And I'm definitely gonna miss some of these launches, but I will be back come mid-June. Okay, let's get into it. So it's been a few weeks since we've left last done this so i'm gonna pick up on trend mood april 5th so these are currently available now huda beauty launched some new lipsticks and lip liners they became available during the sephora of the ib event and i picked up one lip liner it's a very nice formula i don't know how i missed this but i didn't realize that she also came out with the cream lipsticks like you guys i seriously my head has not been in the new makeup release game because of all that's going on right now um, within education, but I'm sure the lipsticks are just as beautiful, but the lip liners are gorgeous as well. Since these are already gone past released, I probably won't pick anything else up from this line, but I'm sure the lipsticks are beautiful. The color range here, ugh, these are my kind of colors. These nudes and these mauves, I'm loving it. And the lip liners, I can speak on those. Those are very good. Rare Beauty also launched their spring or summer, whatever it is, eyeshadow palette along with an eyeshadow primer. I decided to pass the palette. She is cute and I was pleasantly surprised with their holiday releases of their eyeshadow palettes. The quality was really nice. Again, like this normal Morgan, normal not stressed Morgan would have picked this up and reviewed it on my channel. I decided not to stress myself out with squeezing a review of this, but it does look cute. She's cute, simple, everyday. I definitely think this is a great palette for her consumer base. And then also, of course, an eyeshadow primer. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I passed, drop. Wet n Wild came out with their SpongeBob collection. I'm sure this was very trendy among the TikTokers because it is an adorable collection. And I haven't gone to Walmart, but I want to go to Walmart because I can definitely see myself passing through this and picking up one of those SpongeBob sponges. <laughs> and the palette is really cute too. So this isn't something that I am going to go out of my way to do a review for, but I definitely think I will be shopping it if I pass by because it is just too cute. Who didn't love SpongeBob growing up? Obviously, it's not like my viewership. You guys aren't as into this also, I'm sure. So I didn't I didn't need it, but I'm I'm getting it if I walk by it. So shop, kind of. BH Cosmetics. I love me some BH Cosmetics. They have come out with a remix dance collection. Each palette is for a different decade. So there's an 80s palette, a 90s palette, 2000s palettes. These are available now. I love BH Cosmetics. The reason why I constantly featured their products where I talk about them on these videos is because I think they have some of the best formulas for the greatest price. I Dropping these, I don't need them. The 2000s one is kind of right at my alley with the cool tones and the purple and the neutrals. The other two I'm not as into, but I'm dropping these. I don't need them. It's been pretty slow with really good palette launches and I've kind of liked that break because I've been breaking into some of the older palettes that I have that I haven't used yet. So these aren't really worth adding to my collection right now, but they're cute. 
but typically I like the square ones. So I'm curious if the quality is as good as the square ones. I've heard some <laughs> thoughts about the KKW launching eye contour duos. I mean, these are the most unnecessary product, if you ask me. The idea is there, like the marketing, so good. Uh, the way that they kind of presented the product, really great. It's $24 and that's $12 a single pan. So I no, I would not recommend you get that. Definitely dropping from my list, not interested in that at all. Uh, you can get that in any palette. You can get it in your face contour duos, uh, but kind of cool marketing, just unnecessary and I feel like I have no idea but I feel like Kim is probably bored of her beauty brand because Skims is just like killing the game she's got to put all her attention in Skims and it's been quite boring Sigma Beauty launched a Corderosa palette and I am stoked about this palette because Corderosa is one of my favorite blushes it's $49, it is currently available, and I am holding myself back from buying this. I have a thing for blush palettes. I love blush palettes, they're so, they're so fun, they're so pretty. And I really want this, especially since it's based around my favorite blush. I think I'm going to wait to see if I can get it on a good sale, because I do want it, but I don't need it, like I don't need it but I want it. I want it so bad. Okay, I'm dropping it from my list, but I'll fall weak and pick it up eventually. I'm sure of it. Oh, okay. Yes, I got a lot of questions about the Vizzy Art La Plague Itonzu, and she is so cute for summer. If you like neutral tones, you're gonna love this. You guys know I love Vizzy Art. I'm waiting to see if I get it in PR. If I don't, no biggie, I will pick it up. The packaging is so cute. The color story is so cute. It's still neutral, but you have the fun pops. You guys have been asking me if I was gonna review it. I'm just waiting to see. Waiting to see if I can save myself $44, but if not, it's okay. I will pick it up. If I don't get it in the next week, it's too cute. I'm gonna get it. It's adorable. I feel the need to talk about this because Benefit came out with these fluoroscope palettes. And they are face palettes. Now, some of my most successful videos on my channel are the big cheek palettes that they come out with every year. I always get a lot of views. I always review them every year. I love them. They didn't come out with that this year. They did come out with these this year. I don't know if these are replacing the big palettes. I mean, regardless, they've been doing those big palettes for so long. I wouldn't be surprised if they're done with those, even though I'm pretty sure those sell pretty well every year. But Anyways, I don't know. I have no clue. Ugh, these just look cheap to me. I'm not going to review these. I'm not going to pick these up. If they come out with one of the regular like six pan or I guess it's five pan palettes of the full size product, I will definitely pick that up. But it doesn't look like they're coming out with those and it looks like they came out with these instead. And I'm pretty sure I own almost every product in here. They have some new formulas it looks like in here. But I don't know, these just look kind of cheap to me, if I'm being honest. Let's talk about the Chantecaille Spring 2021 collection. So many of you guys told me that you did not like the packaging, you thought it looked very childish, and I love it, okay? I like the kitschy, kid-like kind of packaging here. I think it's super cute. They do have the blur powder now, which I know so many of you guys already ordered. The blush is really cute. I'm not picking them up because I don't need them. And you guys know how I feel about Chantecaille. Love their products. Great quality, but overpriced. So, you know, I, I got to pick and choose with Chantecaille. ColourPop launched six new quads. I was lucky enough to receive three of them. I got them in PR. I haven't tried them that yet. They look cute, being completely honest. Would I have purchased these without getting them in PR? No, so dropping them from my list, but they look really cute and I can't wait to play with the ones that I got, but <laughs> kind of unnecessary, but they're really tiny and pretty affordable, $9, but I don't know, kind of unnecessary. <laughs> um, I did speak a little bit about the Hermes blushes on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I do some makeup commentary as they come out on there, and I wanted to pick up one of these because $70 for a 
plush. Listen, I'm crazy. I have a YouTube channel. I'm a shopaholic. I'm a makeup reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast. So uh, normally I take one for the team, but I could not bring myself to do this. Excuse me, $77. What, what on earth? That price is just ridiculous. And so I was contemplating this weekend I wanted one, just one, just to say I did it. And so many of you guys messaged me. Some of you were like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> but some others of you were like, girl, it's not even worth it. No, no, no. And so I was like, I'm gonna save myself $77. So drop these from my list. I don't need them. I feel like this is something where I will buy on a whim. Like if I'm walking in Nordstrom, I'm on vacation because I have a vacation planned in July. Like I can see myself being like treating myself. But from what I've heard, these are nice, but they ain't worth it. $77. I don't want to do that right now. So we'll keep it moving. Dropping it. No, no, no. Okay, another ColourPop because they come out with so many. So these have launched as well. They came out with some new five pen eyeshadow palettes and I've seen some of them in people's Instagram stories and they look really cute dropping them from my list because too many and these are honestly not colors that I really would wear anyways they're very cute really great if you want a little mini color story just to have it won't break the bank if you say to yourself like oh I need something green just for days that I want to wear green these are great to pick up but um don't need them won't use them. I forgot that house laboratories existed. They came out with these lip oil set stains, $24 each, available April 27th. Well, dropping those. Lip oils are very, very popular nowadays, aren't they? Jaclyn Cosmetics is launching the Prep and Set Bake, Brighten, and Set Your Way for a flawless complexion. So it's like an under eye set. So here's the thing, Miss Jacqueline. I want to order these. I want to pick it up. I want to do a review. But your launch time is always on Thursday when I am on hallway duty at work and I cannot order. I missed out on the lip order last time. Couldn't get the colors that I wanted for the blush order. Like you, why am I on duty when you, anyways, I plan on buying this. No guarantees though, because I am on duty. So hopefully they don't sell out. I'm getting irritated. Jacqueline needs to change her schedule for me because I want it. It looks interesting. I'm always interested in an under eye product because they are such a finicky area on our face. We all feel like our under eyes are crepey and creasy. So I got a good feeling about this. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, ABH has launched or they're coming out with on May 3rd these face palettes. Oof. I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> interested in these at all. Um, these look like I've seen them before from many other brands for many years now, like back in the day when contouring and stuff was coming into style. So many of these kind of palettes came out. It just mm, seems a little bit outdated for me for a launch. Remember when ABH used to set the trends and now they're like behind on the trends. This is, un I think, listen, I'm not a marketing major. I know nothing about ABH. I know nothing about their situation. But they need to come out with an eyeshadow palette. And I know that's crazy to say because myself included, we were like, they gotta stop with the eyeshadow palettes. But that's because they launched like three, four, five in a, like a three month time span. It was ridiculous. We couldn't keep up. Now it's been well over a year. And let's be honest, ABH palettes was where it all came from. I mean, not true. You know, eyebrows, highlighters, whatever, liquid lipsticks. But we, so they used to have a cult following for their eyeshadow palettes. And now they don't. I just think they need to come out with a really innovative palette just to like freshen up the brand, you know, because this is not fresh at all. They need something fresh. Even if it's not an eyeshadow palette, I just like eyeshadow palettes, so I'm biased, but they need something fresh. Maybe like a blush palette, like all blush. Cause I don't think they've ever come out with a all blush palette. Something like that, something new. Kaleidos, my beloved Kaleidos has revealed their flower punk collection. I should be getting this in PR. Looks very melt like to me, but I think Kaleidos does it better than melt. You guys know me and melt got beef right now. Okay. We got beef and 
I'm, I'm sure the Kaleidos formula is great. These colors, I believe I've seen from Melt before. I'm really excited about this. This is such a unique, not really, I suppose. But it's, it's a fun collection and Kaleidos always has the best packaging, the best themes, and very good quality. So the pre-order will be April 28th at 8 p.m. PST. Dang, that's like 11 o'clock in Maryland. But um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I, I wouldn't say looking at it, am I like, oh my God, this palette was made for me. It definitely was not made for me. Not my color story, not in love with the colors, but just in love with the overall theme, if that makes sense. Oh, we're already on the last product. Well, I'm gonna talk about something else after this, but Maybelline is coming out with the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, and it's available right now at Walmart, and I almost, you know what? I've been forgetting to say shop or drop. That's okay. Anyways, I almost picked this up, like, while I was scrolling. I was in the bathroom, not gonna lie to you, on my phone, and I saw this, I was like, mm, should I get this? I love Maybelline Fit Me. I, I decided to drop it. I'm intrigued, but I'm dropping it from my list because I don't need another complexion product to add to my pile of complexion products that I'm testing out. But I'm interested. My skin is currently, we're going through a good phase right now. We're at a healthy point in our relationship. And so I'm looking into lighter coverage options. So I'm interested. Maybelline does a good job with their complexion products, but we're gonna pass on that for now and drop it from our list. Okay guys, I uh, just finished a workout, but I stopped so that we could talk about the newest product that was revealed. Of course, I had to put it in this, the Pat McGrath blush line was revealed, but it's actually like a whole collection. So there's nine blushes, there's a quad, there's some lip colors, there's a highlighter. Yes, thank you to each and every one of you who sent them to me. <laughs> I was already stalking it, but I know you're all just as excited as me. You know me so well. So here's my dilemma. Nine blushes was a little more than I was hoping for. Like, it's great. There's nine blushes, but I'm like, dang, Pat, now we got to buy everything. Um, so <laughs> I don't think I'm actually going to end up buying everything. I'm going to see what bundle deals are available, but I'm thinking at least probably the first six blushes from the lightest to... Because those last three looked really deep so and too vibrant for for this. So I think I'm going to get the first six blushes, the highlight, of course, and the quad. And I'll take a closer look at the lip colors. Not, I'm just not for need of lip colors. But I'm going to pick up as much as I can without it hurting my soul. So excited. Those blushes, the embossment look absolutely stunning. The eyeshadow quad is nothing to write home about. I'll have to take a closer look at the swatches when more is revealed. I'm definitely picking it up, but it looks nice and wearable. The highlight looks absolutely beautiful, so I'm hoping it's similar to the formula of the highlight that came out, not with Holiday, but the one after that, the one that was better with the quad. You know, it came out anyways, yeah, uh, but so excited. Finally, the packaging looks adorable, and she finally actually gave us what we wanted so many of you guys messaged me and you were like watch it be just another quad watch it be a lip duo so i'm so excited she finally came out with blushes i'm gonna pick up as much as my wallet will allow as much that is reasonable so i'm not picking up the entire collection unless there's a good bundle deal uh but i wish i could i really wish i could so and the last collection that I did want to talk about is the Suku Spring Collection, okay? I had the blush because that's the only thing that was still available from them in my cart at Selfridges, but I was like, girl, get it together. Now, I have never tried anything from Suku. I want to. It looks like Tom Ford. It looks beautiful. The colors in this collection are... That purple palette, y'all, is that purple palette and the blush it. Like, I want to try this so bad. I don't want to add another brand to my repertoire right now, though. I don't know. <laughs> I want it, though. I have been eyeing Suku for so long. This is the collection that I might want to dive into the brand. Like, I'm feeling it, so I think I'm going to shop this. I think it might be piece by piece. I don't think I'm going to do a big review for it, but I think this is going to be my introduction to the brand. So that's how I'm feeling about that. I think that's it. I'm going to stop there. 
I did see, though, that Dior was coming out with a new quint. Let me tell you, Tavia over at Chic Profile, I don't know how she gets this stuff. Yes. So, okay, this really is the last one. Dior's coming out with a new quint. I'm dropping it from my list. I don't need it, but it looks really pretty. It's a bit warm for what I'm feeling right now. I also did just purchase a new Dior quint anyways, and they're kind of pricey. Like, they're not a brand that I want to buy everything and anything that they come out with, and especially if it's a quint and I already have some pretty good experiences with their quints, but it's pretty. Um, yeah, just wanted you guys to know about that. I don't see any details about it though. Okay. There you guys have it. There we go. Those are my thoughts on all of the new makeup that is launching very, very soon. Make sure you check out Trend Mood and Chic Profile down below. I have them linked in the description box. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.